What's up guys? Hiking again. I'm always walking. I'm going down this trail to this creek here in town to do a little fishing um, using this Bass Pro Shop uh, Micro Lot Series with uh, the, what is it, Mini Lot Reel or whatever. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Walking out through here, we're going to test this thing out. Haven't used it yet. See what we catch. Come on guys, let's do it. Well guys, I got the Ultra Lot with four pound test, P-Line floor coat with these little Bass Pro Shop uh, micro, I think they're micro squirts or whatever with a little Bobby Garland tiny little crappie jig on a 132nd ounce jig head. Let's see if we can't catch some more fish. There we go. First fish. <laughs> this is fun on this micro lot. First fish, nice looking bluegill. It's feisty. Hooked him right to the ridge of his nose. That's probably why. Nice little bluegill. Going back. Cool. That was like the second cast. I just got here. I'm gonna say right off the bat, even though I've only cast a couple of times, this rod's gonna take a little getting used to because I'm so used to using graphite. This rod loads. Now it'll sling this little bitty 132nd ounce head, I mean far. I mean surprisingly far, but it loads up big time. So it's it's definitely a, gonna be a learning curve for that. But it should be lots of fun. I don't know if y'all can really see how much it loads, but man, it will. It's going to take some getting used to. On there. Sorry for the road noise. I'm like right under the bridge. There we go. There's one. Another little bitty bluegill. Little guy. Smash that thing though. Watch him go. Look how small that thing is. That thing is the panfish destroyer. I'm gonna state by saying though, this thing already I can tell it's super sensitive. Like super sensitive, but I have to get used to them, which I'm getting used to it pretty quick. The massive amount of flex in the rod when you cast it under such a lot. I haven't even put anything heavier in a 132nd ounce. Wait, there's nothing of any my size fish in here. Yeah, that's one. There we go. A little fighter. It feels pretty nice. Ooh, it's a little bass. Heck yeah. Give him a little run, room to run. Oh, he's fighting. Well, it feels like a monster on this rod, I'm telling you. It feels like I'm fighting a 15 pound fish. It's a nice little bass. Let me get him up. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, it's fun, guys. I'm telling you. Loads of fun. Lots and lots of fun. Come here, buddy. There we go. Nice little... Is that a spot? Yeah, it's a spot. Sorry, guys. Nice little spotted bass. Pretty. Really healthy out of this little creek. Let's put him back. Put him back in there, boys. See you later, buddy. That was lots of fun. That was fun. Caught him right off that little tree stump right there. Oh, there we go. Something. Feels pretty nice. 
Another bass, I think. No, not the bass. Just a big old bluegill. Big one. No, big old, big red breast sunfish. Big old red breast sunfish. Breast. Big old funky looking red breast sunfish. We've been fishing here for a minute. Uh, we caught a couple bluegill, red breast sunfish, and a spotted bass. So we're gonna work on down the uh, creek here. Keep fishing. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Oh, there we go. He hit that hard. It felt hard on this rod. That little bluegill choked it. Choked that thing. Nice little bluegill, kind of pale. See you, buddy. I think I found Bill Dance's hat. I wonder if that's Bill Dance's hat. Little Tennessee hat. Been laying there about 35 years. I don't know how much further I can walk this way. Mosquitoes are having their way with me, too. Kind of driving me insane. I'm not going to lie. They keep biting me on my back. It's like they know where to get me or where I can't get them. It's driving me kind of up the wall. You be careful. You pull on something like that, a big old stick will fall and bash you in the head. Being a rotten tree. I say that out of experience. There's something. Feels decent. Everything feels decent on this rod, though. That's the funnest part about it is you can do this just simplistic fishing like this and it feels amazing. Another bluegill, little guy. See you, buddy. Sitting along right here. It's weird because you would think something would be sitting on that side, but it's not. It's kind of right in here where this little, all the water is being fed through here. We're just kind of chilling. I wonder if I can get along this bank down there. I just swear it feels like there'd be something nice sitting right there. And there may be, I just don't want one I'm throwing. Well, I think I'm going to bail out on walking up through there. I'll wait for another day. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, it's 3.49. I only have roughly an hour, and I've got about a 20, well, about 15, 20-minute walk back down that trail. I've got something I've got to do this evening. So we'll just head back up this way, fish along, keep fishing, and go up a little past the bridge, see what happens. All right, guys. The thing I've, I've realized real fast with this rod, so I'll update on the rod from the first, is it's very fly rod like. You have to, it's less is more with this rod. It's like a, reminds me of a four weight, it reminds me of my St. Croix uh, four weight rod that I have. It's less is more. So the harder you throw it, the, the more bend you're going to get and really less distance you're going to get. The lighter you just kind of whip it real easy like you're going to get a lot more distance with it and feeling it well you kind of get that feel it's weird it, it's a learning curve but um, a lot of people don't like glass because of that they don't like that they've gotten so used to graphite that they can't get over that bend that whip but i like it i actually like it a lot i actually love it and the spinning reel because it has so much feel. I'm not used to having so much feel. I would like to have a little heavier action fiberglass rod in the spinning reel. I'm not used to having so much. I mean, it, you can feel, I mean, the slightest bite with this thing. I mean, it's, this thing is super sensitive. There we go. A little guy. Got some fight in him. Another bluegill. Boy, I'm slaying the bluegill today. The dinksters. Slaying the dinky bluegill. But it's fun. On the ultra lot. See you, buddy. Throw it over on that bank. 
and then work it down in the water and they just pop it. There we go. They just pop it. Super tiny, super tiny bluegill. Another bluegill. Little winky dinky. See you, buddy. He's a go-getter. He don't hang around for much. He wanted to do his 20-second appearance on YouTube here. So, yeah, guys, we've caught, I don't know, a bunch of bluegill, a decent little spot of bass. It wasn't very big, but he wasn't bad. Um, we walk down that way under the bridge, and we come back up here, caught some other bluegill. We're going to walk around this way for a few minutes, and then we're going to head back. So, y'all got to stay tuned. Let's keep walking. Man, go catch something crazy. An alligator. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? All right. This is the catching spot right here. There we go. Called something, I told y'all. I'm a master of knowing these things. Master of the dinks. Now Leo Shang's a master of the dinks, but Let's see here. Another bluegill. Rocking and rolling, pale looking bluegill. Really pale. Alright buddy, you gone. Go back home. There's a little calm at there's a water running down right there and there's calm to the right. That's where they're gonna be at. I just don't know if I can get over there to fish them. A little sketchy man, it ain't no way around. Let's see if I can crawl up on this log for y'all. I got my head strap in here, put y'all on my head. Hold up. See here, I put y'all on my head. I put y'all on the strap. Let's see if we can't crawl up on this old snaky look log. Some snaky looking log. Man, I know there's like a giant spider up here. It's gotta be. God. This right here is. This right here is a little sketchy. Well, we did it. Uh oh, fall's coming. Boy, this thing will sling it. I don't know if y'all can see how good, how far that is, but when you get the right amount of flex in the rod and the right strength, it'll. There we go. Ooh. It'll sling it. It'll sling it. Look at that turtle. There's a turtle. See if I can hit him. Boom, I almost got him. See, I'm getting better. I don't want to hurt the turtle. Oh, there's another one. There's bound to be something sitting over here. There we go. Got something. Another bluegill. Well, we slay some bluegills of this little thing today. I'll tell you what. Bluegill. Let's throw him back. We have messed up some bluegills today, boys. Call it quits for that spot. Well, we caught one bluegill out of there. I thought we might do a little bit better now. Well, guys, uh, I think I'm done with this area. I'm going to head back towards the car. I'm going to fish one more place before it's over with. All right, guys. Whoa. I'm on my way back. Look at the size of that crawfish. That big old fat dude. Look at that thing. It's lethargic as hell. That's bass food right there. Some bass and uh, catfish and stuff eat off these. He doesn't look too good. He's kind of lethargic. He may be dying. I think he's gonna make it. He's real slow, he's just creeping along. He don't have a care in the world. He's moving though. It's weird because I took him out, he didn't even. Normally they'll like flail up and stuff. Normally they'll just freak out, but he doesn't. He doesn't give a darn. He didn't care. He's like, whatever, dude. <laughs> He's just like, he don't care at all. I noticed a deer 
put my backpack stuff down. I'm gonna go through here. It looks like it might be pretty good over here. I noticed a deer come through here on my way in here. I didn't have my camera on. This is chigger territory also. Snakes, I don't know. Deers and raccoons and God knows what. Come down through here to drink water. So I know it's gotta be pretty low over here. See, I know the creek's higher on this end. I'd like to get me like a cheap kayak or something I could bring down in here. Oh, this is dope looking. Oh yeah, there's definitely bigger bass up here for sure. Probably some decent sized little catfish too. See deer come down in here. Drink like crazy. Look at this area. This right here is definitely a place that you can catch some bass or something. I gotta be careful to fall off in the water. See, it's a lot deeper up here. It almost looks like a different creek. Let's see what I can catch in here. Oh, mosquitoes are rich. I'm just sitting here on the bank chilling. Just sitting here chilling, casting around. Another big fat bluegill. Nice one. Throw him in there. Boosh. Well, everybody, that's it. Um, caught a decent little bass earlier, a little spotted bass, a little big guy. Uh, a bunch of bluegill, red breast sunfish. Fished around, then came back down here. Fished here for a minute, caught a couple more little bluegill. Um, I definitely want to come up here with the worms or something and catch maybe try to get on. I know there's got to be some catfish in here and uh, maybe more rigged up for uh, some decent size, you know, a little bit more decent sized bass. If this water's deeper like this up there, there's definitely bass and uh, catfish holding in here. And um, be cool if I get like a little um, kayak or something come up here. That'd be super cool. But um, y'all guys stay tuned. I'll make more videos. I'll definitely come back here and I'll definitely be going to other places. I've got a few more places in mind. Um, I definitely keep fishing this fishing rod and give a, a review on that later on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to head home. I've got a couple of things i got to do before it gets dark tonight. I'll see y'all guys later. Y'all guys like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you later.